Hello everyone, Rodney here from the 22 Marchman Challenge. In this episode of the 22 Marchman Challenge Workbench Tutorial Series, I'm going to talk to you about the Giro Annealer and upgrading from the standard setup as it comes from Giro to using a regulator for better, more accurate, and repeatable flow control of the propane to adjust the flame. This is the standard setup as it comes from Giro. As you can see, it's set up to use the small propane tanks, which is fine, but the problem with this setup is that this torch valve is very sensitive and the slightest adjustment on this valve will take you from uh, a small flame to a very large flame and it just seemed really hard to fine-tune it to where you wanted to get it to uh, so you really need to play with it to get it just right another thing I noticed the first time I used it was that as the torch heated up the flame changed and I had to keep adjusting it and after several minutes I finally it finally settled down and I was able to get it to where I wanted it. Uh, I read somewhere online that you needed to light it and let it run for about 10 minutes for the torch and the valve to heat up and then adjust it from there and I wasn't real happy about that. Uh, all, and all the, the adjustments on, the, on this valve were just way too coarse. I decided to just put a regulator on it. While I was at it I'd set it up to use a five gallon tank instead of the small propane tanks that, that it uses. Uh, I plan to use the torch head only and get rid of the stock valve, but I was just never able to find the right fittings to go from the, the torch head to the hose without the valve. So I decided to just leave the valve on, open it all the way, and just use the regulator for flow control. So this is the pressure regulator I ended up with. It comes from teosmokers.com. It comes with the 30 PSI regulator, the 60 PSI gauge, and the five foot hose. Another thing I wanted was to have the toolless connector so I didn't need uh, tools to connect this to my tank. And the last piece I needed was this propane cylinder adapter to connect the torch body to the hose. And best materials was the only place I could find this adapter anywhere. So this adapter from best materials was 525 but with shipping it was 1025 I believe. Uh, then the regulator itself with the hose, the gauge was 5595 from tejasmokers.com. Then the last piece, the uh, tank gauge with the toolless adapter was 1295 from Lowe's. So by the time it was all done, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. This regulator from TejasSmokers.com does a much better job than the factory stock uh, torch valve. And this annealer is much easier to use now. Well, that's pretty much all I have for this uh, episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. Have a good day.